my dad always said, he's like, I would, I don't want, I, I've never had anything or don't want anything to touch my house. Like the thing leaning up against his house and that's right. never the thing. Um, what, what is, is there anything or any tips like that? Oh, absolutely. So obviously we have a lot of lush trees mm -hmm. around our properties. Uh, one thing we always want to stress on homeowners is to trim any vegetation, uh, bushes, mm -hmm. trees away from your house. Uh, those like can feet, create a feet. lot of a problems. So the standard is 10 feet away from your house. Oh, wow. So obviously, you know, people plant a lot of bushes yeah. near their house, around the front of the house for decoration, for the beauty of it. Uh, trees can drop, obviously, a lot of debris into your roof, onto your gutters, mm -hmm. can clog those, can create problems. Uh, but those also create other issues as far as uh, pests getting into your house. Okay. So if you have bushes that are growing right next to your siding, well, they like that uh, that moisture and that dampness. And so then they live in there and then they can intrude into your house. So oh, wow. keeping bushes and trees trimmed away from your house is going to uh, alleviate a lot of those problems. Got so. it. Got it. One thing I always see in the inspection report are gutters um, draining too close to the house. Absolutely. And so. there's always a conflict of whose issue is that, who's going to fix that. and you know the the buyer's agent's like lots well, of seller thing just go down to home depot and get one of those i'm not sure what they're called the plastic splash block the splash box splash block yeah splash block splash block so splash blocks alleviate a little bit of the issue mm -hmm. but not really fix the problem so they do divert a little bit of the water but you're but yeah so we're, we're talking about gutters running down the side of the absolutely. house absolutely so downspouts Right. going directly next to the foundation is a big problem big problem big problem so we want to advise clients to put at least a five foot extension from the downspouts away from the house well i've seen the little ones those like foot from the half ones. right not not quite going to cut it oh. so ideally you see a lot of new construction and maybe houses 10 20 years old where they have yep. the downspout going directly into a conduit mm -hmm. which runs out to the street which is ideal that's what you want you want that downspout going into a conduit mm -hmm. and out of the house. Under the ground, out and the under, house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So okay. the splash block uh, is really not a, a remedy for right. for downspouts and getting water away from the foundation. Because once water leaches through that mm -hmm. foundation and into the crawl space, you have other issues. You have water, you have humidity issues, you have mold, right. and so on and so forth. So uh, splash blocks are not ideal get those gutters and those downspouts hmm. shooting that water at least five feet from at the least house. five feet if yeah. you're gonna do it because that's that's definitely in the negotiations as far as downspouts and water and penetration into the foundation uh, you know it can be a seasonal thing so winter time like let's say September through May mm -hmm. have those downspout extensions you know if you don't have the conduit through to the street mm -hmm. have those extensions uh, in place in the winter time when we get all the water right you know, when it comes May, you could probably remove some of those. Uh, we don't get a whole lot of rain May through August right. and into September. So, but once the winter season, the wet season comes back around, put those extensions back right. on, uh, get that water away from your house. So. Let's say that somebody has been living at the house five, six years and just now seems like, oh, my house doesn't have that. Should I be checking? My, I should probably be checking the foundation. Absolutely. What's someone going to do? Just get a get jumpsuit on and a flashlight and just start crawling down? I, I would house? say, yeah, I would say if they, if they feel comfortable getting into their crawl space, absolutely. I mean, uh, get into your crawl space, look for any water pre penetration, look for pulling water. Uh, how look much for water? What's that? How much water? Because it always happens that there's water under the house. Uh, not necessarily, and uh, not always. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, not so, always. So, Oh, ideally and absolutely you should have a vapor barrier in your crawl space right vapor okay. barrier is just the, the black plastic the visqueen sheet. the black plastic is there a certain mill or thickness that needs to be or is it just black it's, it's all standard uh there there is standards as far as that goes but okay. uh, not having anything at all is worse than right. having at least a minimal vapor barrier Got so it. uh and i tell clients you know when you have a vapor barrier tape the seams mm -hmm. Uh, they should run at least six to eight inches up the foundation walls. Oh wow! Okay. So yeah. you're you're getting the full protection of a vapor barrier. It does a couple of things. Not only it keeps moisture down, mm -hmm. uh, it also helps with uh, radon emissions from mm -hmm. the ground. So that ties into a lot of other stuff. Yeah. 